Well, you know, as a little boy growing up in East Winston, uh, watching television shows like uh, Wild Wild West with Jim West and Artemis Gordon, I was fascinated by Jim West uh, traveling around the country on a train fighting bad guys. And at a young age, I knew I wanted to be like Jim West for some reason. I couldn't shake it. I started out at Fight for College, and I was in a class one day, and they brought in an FBI agent, and he talked about federal law enforcement. And right away, it re-triggered that dream that I had in my life that I wanted to be an agent. I started my career with the Winston-Salem Police Department. Later, I was hired by the U.S. Department of Justice, uh, left going to Quantico, where all the agents trained at. Uh, I was part of so many wonderful things until um, I retired in 2016, and I decided that uh, I was going to take another career path. And I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try. And against all odds, God smiled on me and the people smiled on me. And here I am. This is the most difficult job that I've ever had. It's the most stressful job that I've ever had. Uh, because there's so much more than being a sheriff or overseeing or looking at law enforcement issues. To me, as I say all the time, a sheriff is an ambassador of goodwill. A sheriff has to become involved in social issues throughout the county. Because as we've said many times, the social issues have the ability to become criminal issues. There's so many things that I think that a sheriff should do. Sometimes I think I overextend myself, but I wouldn't have it no other way. A sheriff should be a part of community. The sheriff should be a part of changing the nerve. The sheriff should stand up for situations that are not right. We realize that together, strong, together, we can win. We've got to realize that we can't be divided. We can't be separated. We can't. There's nothing wrong with retooling, reconstruction, uh, revisiting some things putting some policies and procedures in place that have teeth, that change the narrative, that change what's happening. Because it's time for a change. You know, what you're seeing happening in 2020, I don't think is a coincidence. It's not. You have two pandemics simultaneously, COVID-19 and social unrest. In 2020, maybe that's the cause of 2020's vision. Maybe that's the cause us to see things clearly and recognize that there's a time for a change. And what's so interesting about this is that I stood out in the window one day in one of the protests, and I saw thousands of people walk down in front of Church Street, and it was black, it was white, it was Hispanics. And that's when you know that this right now is a defining moment in the history of our country. And what I'm seeing happening now in this country, I know for a fact she's going to be better than she's ever been. Because in 2020, we're realizing that we've got to change some things. Not only black people, but white people, Latino, people of influence and affluence, the major Fortune 500 companies are realizing that change is coming. And I'm glad to be a part of that. And I'm glad to be sitting. And I'm grateful for the people God have given me a chance to sit here and be a part of this because the change is overdue.